welcome today i'm going to show you something very simple okay we're going to make a chessboard now there are two ways of making this you can use the texture and you can use the array as well first i'm going to show you is using the texture so we're not going to using the default cube actually we can but i'm not going to use that delete shift a to add a plane so that's our base base uh, base mesh there and let's go to shading here press new and from here shift a to add a texture use checker it's actually better using text uh, checker okay there's nothing there's no other else that's why i prefer checker is better for chess i'm going to show you this is why see it's already perfect it's the color different so let's make this this is five let's make this place eight and this one is eight so in order to do that just press select over there and choose eight there we have see simple as that you can change the color go to black yeah very simple right let me see one two three four one two three four one two. okay that's correct so yeah that's the basic shape that's uh how to make a checkerboard okay chessboard <laughs> not checkerboard okay so i'm um, now i'm gonna show you the second way this is the one grab that to the y i mean yep to the y i mean it's better if we just hide it okay so let's add another plane so this is gonna be the the the, the second way you can just add and this one uh let's go to this and go to this okay add a loop cut here by pressing Control R, okay, to add a loop cut. So now go to shading. Okay, press new. This is for the white, so we're gonna leave that. And let's add another slot. This is gonna be the black, okay? Make sure this one is selected, not this one, okay? Because actually it's fine too. So I'm gonna press three, face select, select this face here, hold shift, and press over here. Okay, now uh make sure over here or you can just actually it's still fine and let's assign now let's turn this into black and there you have it simple as that okay so let's make this a lot okay you can you can actually do something like using array is better okay this one see four choose it count to four and you got some one two three four one two three four so let's say you want to the other side don't apply this yet add another one okay this time we're gonna go to this four but not over that side because this let's go to this factor make sure you're not mistaken by this and this one this is the x and this is gonna this is gonna be this is the x i mean and this is change it this one zero and choose y okay choose the y okay and press the same value as the uh the previous array before one and you should go something like that okay see two ways of making this let's see uh, just let's scale it up press seven let's scale grab that to the x grab that to the y scale grab that to the scale oh whatever see simple as that right it actually quite look the same let me turn this off the overlay so you can see the full review here actually the same okay but there are two ways so which one do you prefer using a texture or using the array okay so it's up to you how to make it okay so that's all for today thanks for watching and i'll see you next time on the next tutorial okay and oh wait uh I believe there are lots of ways as well, so it's up to you to find out what do you think that you comfortable and yeah that you like. Okay, so okay, <laughs> that's all for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time on the next tutorial. Okay, now bye. Alt F9 and three, two, one, cut.